Hello. <laughs> that was like really excited. Hi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, so Kyle and I have been doing a week, we call it a mini cut. So um, for the last week and about a half, week and a half, we've been doing um, kind of our own version of diets out there that we've made to work for our bodies. And basically we're calling it an intense carb cycling. So. Generally, we carb cycle one to two times a week, and this time we're doing a carb cycle for six days, and then we're having a cheat day, but we're doing something called a refeed, where we're doing high carb, low fat. It still looks like our normal cheat day. The food just has less fat than normal. Um, but during the week, we are basically eating very low carb. And we have done videos on how low carb doesn't work for the long term, which is why we're doing it for six days and then putting a cheat day in the middle. Um, but we wanted to talk to you a little bit about the positives and negatives of a low carb diet. Yeah. Um, so from what we've experienced, the let's start with the negatives and end with the positives. The negatives is that if you don't do it properly, one of the most important ones is that your body can lose its ability um, to utilize carbs properly, which is why we are putting the cheat day in the middle sort of of our cut every and six it, days to make sure that our body still remembers how to use carbs. And it doesn't matter which diet you pick. There's a lot of popular ones out there. Um, it can be keto, Atkins, whatever kind of low carb diet you pick, your metabolism will slow down. Yes. It doesn't matter which diet it is, your body will get used to things and your body's natural metabolic rate will slow. And that's what we're trying to avoid by um, throwing in a refeed day once a week. Right. And also on a low carb diet, you can't build muscle. So what we are trying to do right now is we realize we cannot build muscle on our cut, but we built muscle for a very long time and now we'd like to drop some of the body fat to show the muscle. Um, so we realize our goal here is to drop body fat and maintain our muscle. You cannot build muscle, um, I mean you can try it, but you can't build muscle on a low carb diet. So that is another negative. Um, another one is that you are going to feel, um, you may feel a detox. We did after our refeed day, we got headaches because your body, you're taking in only fast acting carbs and there's no fat to slow that down. So your body's going to use up those carbs a lot quicker than on a normal cheat day. And we felt the detox a lot faster. Yeah, because it's going to faster. It's going to say, hey, I want more of that. Yes. And harder. Like generally after a normal cheat day, I don't feel the effects like that. I normally don't really feel many effects, but this was fairly bad headaches for a couple of days. Um, and you may or may not experience that. We're just telling you what our experience and is. And I guess um, we should preface this by saying like the dangers and the benefits of low carb or carb cycling or keto are kind of connected because yeah. the benefit is they, they work really, really well at burning fat. They do, but you should really only do it for a short amount of time. So the other negatives before we go into the positives, um, I would say possibly very sluggish, um, crankiness, um, you know, for both men and women. And we were joking the other day that um, for men, being on a low carb diet, it may be the closest thing to PMS that you'll ever experience. Yeah, exactly. The crankiness and everything. Um, that you that you feel just like short of patience and snippy um you tall you can tolerate a little bit less a lot, and the, of, you, a lot of people have trouble pooping uh yep constipation and the other big one is um brain fog your ability to think quick on your feet it's not there as much um sometimes i find myself going um what am i standing here waiting to do yeah but I mean, that's why, again, we're only doing it for short periods of time. 
So then let's move on to the positives. Um, the positives of the low carb, like Kyle said, is that it burns fat really well. And you can almost feel your body going into ketosis. After a few days, we felt ourselves leaner already. In the mirror, our stomachs have gone down. Um, every, I, I measured my waist and I lost three inches on my waist in the first six days. You'll lose inches in waters almost immediately. Well, not immediately, but within the first couple Fairly of days. Fairly quickly, yeah. within the first few days we did. Um, a benefit for me is you get to eat a lot of fat, meaning you get to eat peanut butter and cheese and real eggs. <laughs> yeah, I love um, real eggs too. You know, like generally I eat one egg, real egg every day during the week when I'm on carb, like eating carbs. But this time I get to eat two full eggs with cheese. And, and if you guys didn't see it, we did a full day of eating showing our version yes. of this low carb cutting. And we also did do a video um, showing you what a refeed cheat day looks like right. as so well. Go check those out. If you yes. if you have any questions about what we're exactly eating during the day. Yes, then please go check those out and feel free again to leave comments down below. Um, other benefits. Oh, eventually, when your body realizes what you're doing, you will eventually get more energy. Like... I didn't feel great yesterday. Today I felt a whole lot better. I think it's that detox period that you feel like crap. And then your body starts to realize, okay, it's not that you're going to starve me. It's I'm switching fuel sources from carbohydrates to fat. Yes. So, and this is our second week yeah. um, doing it. So um, after the Saturday three feed day, I felt great on the Sunday, but Monday I didn't feel so great. And today I felt really good all the way through. I'm starting to get a little bit sluggish now, but you know, that's normal. And then again, we'll do a refeed on Saturday. We're not going to do this very long. This is basically a Christmas cut yeah. um, to lose a little bit of body fat and look really good for Christmas. Yeah. And then after that, you know, it also will balance it out because Christmas we're going to eat um, a little bit extra, uh, maybe a half cheat day more than usual. Yeah. Um, so those are the positives. Is there anything else you want to add? Yeah, I want to add um, just a warning. Um, that we are only able to cut our carbs and kind of play with um, different diets and try things out now that we've dealt oh, with yes. our emotional eating. Yes. This is probably like a flashing warning. If you have emotional eating problems or binge eating problems, do not do attempt. not carb cycle, do not do keto, do not do Atkins. They will highlight your problems and make them worse. So do yes. not mess with any of this um, carb cycling to lose body fat or keto or any of that if you have emotional eating problems because they send your cravings for the first like four, five, six days through the roof. That's a very good point. And also any, if you have any emotional eating, you shouldn't be dieting at all. Um, portioning your food, not changing anything, just portioning it, yes. Yeah. But dieting, to an emotional eater, and I can say this because I've experienced it, I am an emotional eater, I did have an eating disorder, as you guys know, I have recovered from it. Um, but any diet, is a restriction. If you place a restriction on yourself or someone who has emotional eating, you will rebel. You might not rebel in food, but you will rebel in something else. You will find something to fill that void. And we try to be completely honest with you guys. We're in our 30s and this is our five five years into our diet. Yes. And just now we are ready to manipulate our carbs and restrict um, and our cheat days and alter our cheat yeah. days. We haven't we weren't able to do that that we've been maybe just under a year of full cheat days um, before that it was a meal. Um, and we're just now, just under a year, able to manipulate that cheat day so that it's a refeed day. Because before it was too restrictive. So yeah, just a, a warning guys, just from our experience, um, it's a slippery slope playing with your carbs. Yes, you need to be ready yeah. because you will be tested mentally yeah. and physically. Um, one last thing before we wrap up, we wanted to share our results with you. The first week down, um, like I said, three inches off of my waist, Kyle actually gained muscle. I kept my muscle and we both lost three pounds and a percentage of body fat. 
So that's pretty good for the first week. And so we decided to go and do it for a second week. Yep. And so, and this is another thing like we, I put on muscle, but this is our own version of a yes. low carb. So this is when we say when you're, if you're cutting carbs completely, you will not be building muscle. No. And, um, you know, this is our own version and we recommend that you do your own version. What works for your body? Because in our low carb, you guys may say, Hey, you guys are eating carbs. Yes. It's our version. For us, of a it's low extremely carb. low carb from what we're used to eating. Yes. So, um, and it's working for us yeah. and it's fueling us. So you have to do what you have to do. You can use it as a guide if you'd like, but those online diets are made for the general public. They're not made for each individual. You person. need, you always need to be changing and tailoring things to, to your body and experimenting with how your body does on certain exactly. things. Exactly. Yeah. So again, you can go check out those videos if you'd like. Um, hopefully this helped give you guys some idea. Um, if you're, if you were wondering about doing a low carb diet or not, maybe this helped you make a decision. Um, don't forget to check us on Instagram and again, leave your comments or questions below. If you, um, if you have any questions, we will do our best to answer them or to get to them. And yeah, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Cause you know what happens, don't you? <laughs> oh, we know, do buddy. Get, not only do, do, do get this look, <laughs> that face. You don't want that face, guys. You're going to get a one and a two. These are called the fists of doom. Did you know that? Now you do. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.